Hello and welcome to this Microsoft Power BI desktop video tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show us one of the newly released amazing feature in the Power BI desktop for the month of March 2023 and the new feature is called on object interaction. So let's get started. Now, traditionally, the Microsoft Power BI desktop visuals are located in this right pane of the screen. And of course, sometimes you have to collapse this pane in order to have a wider view of the report canvas if you have so many visualization. And if you wanna apply formatting, you have to click on this little paintbrush to apply formatting to your visualization. But now all that has ended, okay, because there is a new feature that actually houses all the visualization in the home tab and the insert tab of the ribbon, just like we have in the Microsoft Excel technology. Now in Excel, in the insert tab of the ribbon, we have the chart group that houses all the regular charts, the pivot charts, and the maps. So we have something similar to this in the Power BI desktop. However, the new feature is currently in the preview. So in order to enable it, you have to click on the file tab and then click on the options and settings, and then you choose options. Now in the options dialog box, you have to choose the preview features and then you scroll down and locate the on object interaction. So I'm gonna check this box and then you can of course learn more share feedback if you have tried it before so i'm going to click on ok and of course we need to restart the power bi desktop so that's fine by me click ok and then i'm going to close this power bi desktop and open a new one so this is a brand new power bi desktop and of course in the home tab of the ribbon we can see the new group and it is called the insert group in a now when i come to the insert tab you can see the same visualization and it is called visuals in this section so you can actually click on this drop down and see all the subcategories of the visualization for instance we have the bar and the column charts we have the line area chart waterfall funnel scatter chart pie chart donut and the trim and so on and so forth now basically we're going to just load some data set from excel and then try all these visuals in their new location this is our sample data set in excel now the data is officially stored as an excel table and of course we have all these columns order id to total columns okay now basically in column a We've got 14 unique account manager, and these are all the transactions recorded by each of them. Now, this is going to be our fact or many types table. Now, in the next sheet, we have all the list of the unique account manager and the corresponding account manager's ID. Now, we're going to get this data set into the Power Query editor and match as new to match from one table to another table and create a single table so let's do that now in the power bi in the home tab of the ribbon on the data group i click on excel workbook and then i can search for the workbook press the tab key click open and then we're going to see the tables in the navigator dialog box now in the navigator dialog box we can see now these are tables and of course these are worksheet okay now as i check the boxes we can see preview to the right that's amazing okay so i'm not going to load to the data model straight on because we want to create the match across the table so click on transform data now that's going to load the data set into the power query editor which is awesome now let's quickly you know create the match as new now you can actually right click here and choose new query and choose combine and i want to choose match queries as new now in the matched dialog box we can see we can select tables and matching columns to create a matched that is one table so in here, i'm going to choose the main side of the F sales that is the fact table and of course I want to choose the dimension table here so I'm going to match this column to all these numbers in the main side here now we can see it's going to use by default left out of join and of course we can see the selection matches 977 of 977 rows from the first table so 
click OK, and then we can see this matched table. That's fine. Now, let me just rename this and call this one data. Click Enter, and the name of the query is transformed. Now, I don't need this again. I'm going to right click and choose Remove Column, and that is removed. And then I scroll to the right now. A new column is added and it's going to it's showing tables. So I'm going to click on this two upward pointing arrows. So click on that and I'm going to uncheck use original column name as prefix and I'm going to uncheck all of them. So I only need the account manager's name based on the account manager's ID. Click OK and then we can see all the names. So I can grab this and reorder the columns to wherever I want. That's fine. Now I'm going to call this one. Um, Deem, Deem account manager, click enter, and then of course I do not need this again, so I'm going to right click and enable or disable enable load. So I'm going to uncheck because I do not want to load into the data model, and that's going to be italicized. So once I'm okay, click on close and close and apply. Now it's going to close the Power Query Editor for Power BI and load the queries into the Power BI data model. And we can even see that the relationships is going to be created between the two tables and that's awesome. So we can see 14 rows loaded. Now when I check the data view, we can see the data set. Now this is the fact table and of course, we can see the dimension table here. Yeah, that's awesome. Now, in the relationship view or that model view, let me just um, collapse this and let me just move this. Now, it creates for us one to many relationship, and that's awesome. So, I'm going to come to the report canvas here. Now, before we create our visualization, I'm going to create a simple explicit tax measure so i want to create it on this data right click and choose new measure now i'm going to call it total sales so total sales and i'm going to use the sum aggregate tax function so i want to aggregate this to the column close the bracket click enter and then we can see the newly created explicit DAX measure with this indicator, this calculator to the left. So let's just apply some currency formatting. So currency, and then let me get rid of the decimals. I don't want any decimals. Now that's fine. All right, now, so I'm gonna to come to the insert tab or the home tab anywhere I want. I'm gonna open this um, drop down. Let's say we wanna create clustered column charts. I'm gonna click on this, this is clustered column chart. And we can see this displays this um, ghost visualization. And then I can actually click on this add data and build your visualization. And now this is very similar to what we have in Microsoft Excel. So we can see we have all the visualization types, all the visuals. You can even click on these three ellipses to see more visuals. You can even import visual from your file. You can even remove or restore default visuals if you have altered the stuff so basically um we want to let me just collapse okay let me just scroll down now we can even see the x axis the y axis the legend so you can actually add data to all of it now let's start with the x axis i'm going to click on add data now we can see this amazing window that shows the tables in the data model that's amazing so for this let's say um, i actually want to add the account manager here so i'm going to add this one here and then for the y-axis i want to add the newly created total sales dax measure so i put this one here and this creates amazing closer column chart for me so you can actually see how it performs over time now i do not like this kind of charts um, because or visual because it's actually showing the trend from the top downwards so i'm going to come to the data view and come right in a now i'm going to sort this account manager's name i want to sort by the account manager's id and it's actually going to show that in alphabetical order which is exactly what i want so i'm going to come back here let's see i delete this and let's recreate that and choose this and um, for the 
x axis we want to add the account manager okay expand account manager's name and for the y axis we want to add the total sales dax measures oh sorry by the way i made a mistake let me just correct the spelling this is not correct okay it's total sales okay and that's nice and then i can go ahead and expand the chart and it looks more nice okay so i think this is more nice so you can actually perform some other things like you click on this brush brush time and you can add or remove any visuals if you want okay you can see now let me just show you this zoom slider now when i choose this zoom slider it's going to show this um, vertical line which allows me to filter or to slice the visualization you can see that is awesome you can play around and see okay so it shows you different you know sales based on the slice slice that you applied okay and you can even play around and choose more options and then you can see the format if you want to apply all kind of formatting you want grid lines or you don't want grid lines you can always always play around with them and of course this is basically the new on object interaction in the power bi desktop so you can actually play around and see what works and what doesn't work I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do, like, comment, share, and subscribe to this channel. Thank you and bye for now. Cheers.